Hi everybody, it's Jennifer, and I'm back here with another book review. Uh, we're going to talk about Margaret Atwood again today, and this time we're going to talk about the sequel to The Handmaid's Tale called The Testaments. Uh, those of us who love The Handmaid's Tale have been waiting years for part two. I don't like to give away any spoilers, but I want to tell you a few things about The Testaments. Um, number one, it is told in the future. Um, at a, it's held at a seminar where they're going over old documents about the falled nation of Gilead. Which is, I, that was an awkward way to put it. So we do get the understanding that in the end, Gilead does fall. But we don't know how. So perhaps there will be a part three. One thing we learn that's very important in the Testaments is that Aunt Lydia does, in fact, have a heart. She's not as cold and cruel as she appears in The Handmaid's Tale, and she actually does start to second-guess some of the conditions of Gilead and the way that the handmaids are treated. So perhaps she has a role in bringing down Gilead. We don't know. The book does leave us wanting to know more, and I think it leaves it wide open for a part three. And I am eagerly awaiting a new season of the series on Hulu, just like millions of others. I have gotten addicted to the series and the books. So way to go, Margaret Atwood. The Testaments was everything that we could hope for in a sequel, and it kept me riveted. I read it within 24 hours when I first when I first bought it and I'm reading it for the second time right now. It is a fabulous book. If you love The Handmaid's Tale, you have to read The Testaments. You absolutely have to. Take my word for it. You won't be disappointed. Have a great day everybody and happy reading.